welcome to poitra laptop care so today's topic is pch and io super io communication okay in previous class i already explained the pch and io super io will communicate through lpc bus right so if it want to communicate with lpc bus before this so many signals has to communicate after that finally it will communicate with lpc means all are track in lpc only but final stage is lpc signals <coughs> see what are those signals today we will discuss hmm? today we are discussing only pch and super io communication okay what are the signals and what are the voltages it's communicating with each other see signal first signal from where to where that i will tell you one by one it's not exactly the correct once you uh, do the motherboard then only you come to know what are the signals are coming in the uh, coming in the order okay see now in actually exactly we can't guess this is the actually exact first one and second one like that but uh, according to the voltage level according to the voltage level we can easily guess this may be the first signal or this may be the last signal or this may be the next signal okay according to that i am uh, going to explain now so first signal is pt power pbt n hmm power button out, out. hash okay this one is output for io okay this one is output for io here it's a ptb power button because this one carries plus 3 valw underscore dsw this is the pull up for power button out mm. okay power button out means it's a very uh, basic voltage which one 3 volts always underscore dsw mm. so according to that i am explaining here it, this is the first one second one is same dsw which it will we, we, uh, which uh, voltage is operating i mean which signal is operating ac present ac present yes. present hash this one also out to io so generally commonly i am taking io it's from in or out mm. hmm? it's output signal from sio to pch so this also comes through 3 v a l w underscore d s w always so third signal so you know very well mm. rsm rst ash yes. okay previously before that these two these two signals should be pakka then only rsm rst will appear see rsm rst ash okay this one is out from io right mm. next which one may be and one more thing so before this we can consider third point pch power okay because this pch power okay because this one is out from io when it will out the 3 volts 5 volts power good if this appear then only the signal will come out right so this one is 3 volts always and this one is 3 volts 5 volts pg and next signal this is the fourth one maybe rsm rst okay next fifth one what may be the next one this one is uh, slp pm slp underscore no this one is sus power 
acknowledgement. See, once RSM, RST and power OK signal and AC presents and power button out, everything goes to the PCH, then PCH will provide a acknowledgement. Yes, I received these signals. So, thus, the, those signals, for, for that confirmation, which signal is appearing here? Sus P. No. Sus P power acknowledgement. Yes. Okay. This is ACK acknowledgement ash. One signal will be there. That one will be input to IO. Okay. Uh, acknowledgement from PCH. Okay. That one input to IO. I'm uh, actually IO. I'm taking a common one. It's in or out like that. Okay. The acknowledgement signal is coming from PCH to IO. Okay. After this acknowledgement the PCH will decide shall I give the suspend voltages or not. Mm. Okay. Once acknowledgement is given definitely it releases suspend voltages. Those are called PM means power management SLP S4 ash. This is input to where? IO. Right. Next PM SLP, SLP underscore S3 ash input to IO right so next one more voltage see after this SM, uh, SLP S4 and S3 we will get plus 3 VS signals sorry plus V plus 3 VS voltages mm. so what are the signal will carry this particular voltage then it will come according to the signals Okay, once suspend voltages generated, uh, next signals will be what? One more is there here according to this schematic EC underscore SCI hash. Uh, SCI. Uh, that one is input or output? Uh, input, sir. Yes, that is input signal. Okay, 7 and 8. That is input signal. Ninth one. Which one? Uh, backlight enable. Hmm? A signal called backlight enable. Actually, this one, this particular PCH, right? PCH will give red, right? this one. Hmm. Enable backlight. See, a signal called backlight enable that goes to IO. Okay? And next, from IO, ME enable. Yeah. Mm. These all are after pressing power button only up, uh, happening. Mm. Okay. okay. This one is out from IO. ME enable. Me enable. Mm. Next one. Yes. OVRM enable. That is into IO. From PCH, OVR. M or N? Oh. M oh, underscore sorry. enable. OVRM. That is input to PCH. Yeah. Okay. Next, touchpad enable. It's a output. Hmm? Yeah. But it's actually output from IO and PCH also. Yeah. It directly goes to EDP. So yeah. we should not consider this because it's output from both, then there is no meaning. We are discussing here only communication between uh, hey, Super IO and yes. PCH. Okay, next. Are you sure? Yes. Any other signals? No. See, after after all these signals is okay, mm -hmm. then finally PLT is PLT underscore RST hash. Input or output? This one is input. See, this one is coming from two sides. Yeah. From where? And, uh, one is PCH and other one is TPM signals, TPM, TPM devices you heard already, right? From TPM and from PCH, these two are, from these two, to the super IO as a input, these signals are generating. So here is the input, right? 
Are you sure it's input or output? Uh, input, sir. Sure? Yeah, sure. Yes. Nice hmm? These two, TPM and PCH, generating this particular signal. See, everyone knows PT, uh, PLT RST is the final one. But for display, this is not a final one. Maybe in signal level, this may be a final one. But in fact, in fact, this is the final signal, that's okay. But the thing is, behind that also, many signals we need to check through the DSO. Those are called bidirectional signals. Bidirectional signals. Okay, anyway, before this, some bidirectional signals will come in between only. That we didn't discuss. But anyway, now we will discuss as a bidirectional signals. Mm -hmm. So, in bidirectional signals, number one, which one? Uh, this, one. Uh, this one. SML 1 clock and SML. See, this one is coming from PCH. PCH SML 1 clock CLK PCH underscore SML 1 data. Right? Yes. So, these two communicating with IO each other in bidirectional. These all are signals. Okay, of course it carries three voltages. But it should be pulses. There should be pulses. Okay, next. This one is there, uh, three Which one? Or three VS, right? Huh? Which one? Three VS voltage. Huh. See. 3 VS in the sense after pressing power yes. button, after once that PA, uh, what is that, uh, S4 and S3 has come, suspend voltages has come, mm -hmm. then this particular 3 VS will generate, right? Mm -hmm. So those all are goes to VGA, thermal section and DC sections. Mm -hmm. hmm? okay. So in that section, this particular S SML1 and S uh, SML1 clock and data will work. Next, this is the final one. Which one? LPC. The final signal. The final signal is clock related. C L K. What? C L K L P C underscore R. This is very 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 important signal. This is going to IO as an input. After PLT RST, there is a one more signal called clock L P C R. Means it gives the clock to this LPC address. Okay, mm. that I already told. IO and PCH will communicate with uh, through the LPC buses, mm. right? Yes. To activate that LPC buses, this clock is most important thing. After this, only the display related signals, clock and data will communicate. Those all are what is that? LPC underscore. AD3 AD3 2 1. 1 and 0 This is the final outputs This only gives the display to you mm. After all processor or what are the requirements uh, Accessories requirements will be there After all voltages or after all signals This is the final signals To get the display now you understood my point, right? So just one summary I will tell you. First one is power button out. Once you press the power button, this signal goes to PCH. That's like an output signal. And at the, time, at the same time, the AC, AC related connections, that AC present signal goes from IO. And at the same time, a yes, reset signal will happen. Completely the AC related voltage is okay, then a reset will happen. That's called RSM RST. Okay. That's output to PCH. Hmm? After this, one more signal called PCH power okay. That also output from IO. Okay. After that, once these signals goes to the PCH. Once PCH received these signals, then yes, yeah, it will send the acknowledgement. Okay, that is acknowledgement signal. After this acknowledgement signal, it will send SLP S4, S3, those uh, suspend voltages. Okay, after these suspend uh, signals, suspend voltages will generate 3 VS and all. Then DC to DC, everything will communicate each other. Okay, after that, 
a signal called SCI that goes to IO input as input and after that backlight LED signals hmm? then ME signals out from IO and after that OVRM signal enable signal that's input then finally the PLT RST signal goes to IO as an input so after that a clock signal from PCH goes to IO mm. then only IO will release I mean this will start working as a LPC bus AD3, AD2, AD1 and AD0 got my point? Yes. Hmm? It is very easy to understand, right? Yes. Hmm? Before you are feeling very complicated. Mm. Now, if you coming to the advanced level, then you learning step by step. Hmm? This will be little bit boring section, but you should, you must and should know this kind of things. Then only you can easily serve, I mean, uh, do the service thing in advanced level. Mm. Okay. Once again, you once you go to the home, please practice these signals. Keep it in your mind. And I am releasing this video to a, a video on our, our YouTube also. If you have any doubts, you can check this video. You can repeat it and you have to practice it. Okay? okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.